it's summer. It's the watermelon show. How much fun is watermelon? And we like we only see it in the summer. It's really very special. So I'm gonna make a few things with it um, that are so easy. And you know how it is. You buy a watermelon, you have some people coming over, you only eat half of it, or they don't come, you get this big thing in your refrigerator, or you bought two. It's like, what am I gonna do? How much watermelon can I eat? But you can mix it up with so many things and be really creative. And this is the time of year. So let's get started. Okay. Now, the third thing we're gonna make with watermelon is a margarita. I hear your ears ringing. That's right. All right, we're going to put up this cut. We're gonna put the cut up. You could cut it up or you could scoop it with a melon baller. You want the watermelon to be consistent in size because you wanna pulse it and get it into like a puree, but you don't wanna totally uh, make it liquid. You want to leave a little bit of chunks in there. Oh! Now, let me check that. Mm. You know, I just have to say while I'm doing this, you really should check the flavor before you just do it because some watermelons are not that sweet if they're like if it's a little off in the season or they're imported from far away so taste the flavor before you start making stuff cocktails with it and stuff um, I'm just gonna do a tiny bit more And in my, you know, uh, margarita, as we've seen in the margarita video with Anita Cookie um, and the football Sunday, a margarita is tequila, fresh squeezed lemon juice, and triple sec or Cointreau or some kind of orange liqueur or orange juice. So I have a little bit of lime in here. The lime is not going to be the concentrated flavor here. It's going to be the watermelon. So it's watermelon, lime, juice, and let's see, I squoze two limes, but they were a little dry and very tiny, so now I'm going to put, oh, doesn't that sound nice? You hear the chunks? Then our tequila. Da -da 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 -da. And into the magic shaker. You want it to have that little filter so the big chunks don't come through. Now you could put ice in it or not. Um, I filled this up so I don't have room for ice. <laughs> but let's see what's happening here. Now this is, makes a gorgeous cocktail. So it's not only sweet, tasty, and it's not too sweet, like it's not crazy sweet like some sugary cocktails are. What I'm going to do to finish it off is just cut some little chunks of the watermelon. Sculpting. It's the kind of thing you just sculpt, huh? Okay, and I'm gonna put them on these little um, olive picks. There we go, a little sculpture. And put them in your drink. <laughs> the taste. Oh, baby. Happy summer, happy watermelon time. So remember, Cook from the heart.